Many teams are working with Vagrant as part of their development toolbox. In short, Vagrant is a tool in which we can create a script that generates a virtual machine. This way, we can share a development machine by sharing that simple script instead of an external USB drive with a full virtual machine on it. We can launch this machine as many times as we want with an identical configuration, making it possible for every developer to work on the exact same environment. On our machine, we will need Vagrant installed. Vagrant is a command line tool which we can download for various platforms. We will also need a hypervisor in which we can run our Vagrant boxes, like Oracle VirtualBox. Now let's see how this fits into PHP Storm. Let's start by creating a new project and configuring a Vagrant box for it. From the project settings, we can configure Vagrant integration. We can specify the path to the Vagrant executable, as well as download Vagrant base boxes. Let's download the default Lucid32 base box. Base boxes are some sort of a virtual machine template, typically containing just the operating system and some required Vagrant components installed. Every project can then create a Vagrant file, which will extend this base box into a project-specific Vagrant box. In our project, we can now create a Vagrant file in which the virtual machine will be described. PHP Storm can generate this from the Tools menu. As you can see on screen, this adds a Vagrant file to our project. In this file, we can configure things like port forwarding, shared folders and so on. Let's make a small change and share our current PHP Storm project with the remote machine by adding a shared folder. What I'm specifying here is that I want to share the public folder from my PHP Storm project under a PHP Storm project share in the virtual machine. Of course, we'll have to create that folder in our local project. And why not add another file as well so we can experiment a little bit. We can create or start our machine from the tools menu using Vagrant Up. Let's wait a bit until our machine is running. There we are, up and running. PHP Storm also comes with a built-in SSH client. We can start a new session with our Vagrant box from the tools menu. Our Vagrant box will be shown in the list of configured hosts and we can connect to it. Let's accept the RSA key and there we have our SSH client. In there, we can now navigate to the shared folder on the machine. We can do things like creating new files or editing files and so on. Do note that this is a shared folder. If we delete a file on the Vagrant box here, it will also be deleted in our local PHP Storm project. The Vagrant file we had earlier just started a base Debian box with no additional tools installed. We typically want to work with PHP and MySQL and so on. As you can see on screen, there's a very nice website out there which can generate a Vagrant file for us, complete with additional packages that should be installed on the machine. Here's a box I had prepared and is already running. It installed PHP, MySQL and a bunch of other tools. The fun thing with this machine is that I can work on files in PHP Storm and test my code by simply opening up a browser and connecting to the Vagrant box. This works through port forwarding. Let's make some changes and refresh and as you can see, the changes that I make in my PHP Storm project are immediately available on the Vagrant box. There's another great thing we can do when working with Vagrant. Imagine we have to often restart the Apache server running in our Vagrant box, or maybe clear a cache or something. We can make use of the built-in SSH clients to connect to the machine and then run that task manually, or we can make use of the remote SSH external tools that create a shortcut to a remote command. From the IDE settings, we can add a remote SSH external tool. I've already added one here, which runs a script on the remote server, restarting the Apache server. Let's make our Vagrant box the default server on which to run this tool. If we now return to the IDE, the tools window now has a restart Apache item, which we can use to trigger a remote command. Let's try. After accepting the fingerprint once, 
Our tool will run on the remote server and show the output in a console. No need to manually connect to our Vagrant box anymore. If we have to restart the Apache server on our Vagrant box again, we can simply make use of the tools menu again.